Well, Matt, you called it. Perfect uh, sunset out there. It's beautiful. beautiful. It's a gorgeous sunset out there. Certainly is. And then we get the uh, luxury of being able to sort of broadcast now this time of year for at least the next, I'd say, few weeks before at 6 o'clock it's going to be completely yeah. dark. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here it comes. And that also uh, begs a question. One of the holidays, well, we all know when they are, but let's kind of quantify that for you. Halloween, can you believe it? 17 days from now. Thanksgiving, that's 39. Christmas Day, 72 days. And the new year, we will uh, bid farewell to 2019 in 79 days from now. Well, 78, because the 79th will be uh, January 1st, 2020. Wow. Feels weird to say that. Okay, 62 are morning lows. We get started. Should be at about 58 this time of year. 20s up in Arizona's high country. 70s and 80s for daytime highs. Average high 86. So a couple degrees above average for this time of year. There it is again. That gorgeous sunset as we look live from our News 4 Tucson Skynet camera. I should have waited to press that button so you could have seen the sky a little bit longer, but it's 82, dew point 39, west northwest winds at six miles per hour. Lower 80s really across the entire city of Tucson on this fabulous Monday evening. And hey, check it out, already down to 68 in Sonoida, 67 Wilcox. Uh, Sierra Vista, you're at 69 degrees. When do we get our chance to the 60s here in Tucson? Well, you got to wait till about 11 o'clock or so. And that's just part of the deal when you deal with elevation, right? We're a little bit lower elevated than some of the towns in Cochise and Santa Cruz County. Some clouds racing across southeastern sections of the state, and it's those clouds really that help make for a fantastic finish tonight. Good stream of moisture headed all the way from Baja, California, clear through Dallas, Texas, uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana as well, so uh, that's a good stream. Uh, meanwhile, here across southeastern Arizona, a couple showers still try to get going. This high resolution future cast still insists on showing a couple of light sprinkles at least uh, out to our west and near the city of Tucson during the overnight hours. Having a hard time believing it, but we're going to throw it out there. Some of the computer models are saying that, but it's not going to amount to much if it does even sprinkle at all. Warm conditions on tap for uh, really Wednesday and Thursday as so we go back to the 90s. It's short lived. You get a nice trough digging out of the west that'll cool us down, not dramatically, but certainly putting us back into the 80s and possibly even 70s, maybe upper 70s late in the weekend, early next work week. And then by the middle part of next work week, if this high pressure gets a little bit too far to the east and some signs indicate it might, we might have to put those temperatures back into the upper 80s or uh, maybe low 90s. We'll see. We got a lot of time to kind of sort that one through. Low 60s tonight, daytime highs tomorrow with mostly sunny skies into the upper 80s. Just a slight chance of a shower in Cochise and Santa Cruz County. Nighttime lows in the 50s, daytime highs into the upper 70s to near 80s. 86 tomorrow, 90s. They're back Wednesday and Thursday, but they're barely back. It's just 91 both days. 87 Friday, 85 Saturday, 82 Sunday. We're cooling down to the upper 70s by next Monday with nighttime lows. Possibly for the first time, upper 40s. Not bad. Fall is here. David Kelly, what do you say?